My brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, como decía, nos reunimos esta tarde para celebrar uh, la fiesta de Nuestra Señora de Los Ángeles y el nacimiento de nuestra ciudad. Me da mucho gusto que todos nos estemos juntos esta tarde para esta celebración tan bonita y después la procesión hacia la placita uh, para celebrar a Nuestra Madre Santísima Reina de Los Ángeles. So as we uh, gather today, it is uh, beautiful to um, uh, reflect on the beginnings of our city. We uh, celebrate the birth of our great city of Los Angeles and give honor to our city's spiritual mother and patroness, Our Lady, the Queen of the Angels. And this is a historic year for us. In just uh, a few weeks, Pope Francis will come to the United States to canonize Fray Junipero Serra, one of the great missionaries who is associated with naming this city and dedicating it to the Queen of Angels. Uh, Father Serra, as we know, was a Franciscan. So he understood the deep devotion that St. Francis of Assisi had to the Queen of the Angels. This is how this city, or beautiful city, got its original name. El pueblo de Nuestra Señora de Los Ángeles de la Porciúncula. The city was named for the little chapel when St. Francis first heard the call of Jesus. Uh, por eso es tan importante el que en este año, en unas semanas, vamos a tener la visita apostólica del Padre del Papa Francisco y va a canonizar a, al Beato Fray Junipero Serra. Padre Serra, as we know, dedicated his whole mission to Our Lady of Guadalupe. In fact, when he first came from Spain to Mexico, In December of 1749, he walked nearly 300, 300 miles to the shrine of Our Lady Guadalupe in Mexico City to consecrate himself to her. It's always interesting to see that in that beautiful image uh, of Our Lady Guadalupe, uh, imprinted on St. Juan Diego's tilma, she appears as the Queen of Heaven and she's carried by an angel. So in this Mass today, we come, as Father Serra did, to consecrate ourselves to our Blessed Mother, the Queen of Angels. And we come to dedicate ourselves to this beautiful mission of sharing the Gospel with the people of our time. So my brothers and sisters, the Church's mission today is the same mission that Father Serra had. La misma misión que tenía uh, Fray Junipero Serra es la que la Iglesia tiene el día de hoy. We are here to love God and to serve Him through our work, through our lives, through our witness to our faith in Jesus. We are called to make Los Angeles a real city of the angels, a place where every heart can know the personal love of God and the sanctity and dignity of the human person who is created in God's image. This is what God has wanted for the world from the beginning of creation. In our second reading today, we heard St. Paul uh, proclaiming, but when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son born of a woman so that we might receive adoption. As proof that you are children, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child through God. 
my dear brothers and sisters, these words give us the whole mystery of salvation, the whole plan of God. We are still living in the fullness of time, this time when God's plan is being fulfilled in Jesus and in the mission of his church. But God needs us to help him in this mission. Dios necesita que le ayudemos en la misión de redimir el mundo entero. He's sending us out, each one of us, to continue the mission of his son, the mission of his church. Just as he called Mary our blessed mother, just as he called St. Francis of Assisi, just as he called blessed Fray Junipero Serra, God is calling each one of us to carry Jesus into the world and to share his love with every single person. It is indeed a beautiful mission. It was Father Serra's mission. It is our mission. In the Gospel today, we hear once again the beautiful passage of the Gospel or the drama of the Annunciation. And we hear those tender words from the angel. Do not be afraid, Mary. You know, I, um, as you know, I uh, was ordained a priest just a few months before uh, the election of uh, Pope St. John Paul II. And I cannot reflect on these beautiful words, do not be afraid, Mary, without thinking of that beautiful message uh, in his first homily as Pope, where he said, St. John Paul II, brothers and sisters, do not be afraid to welcome Christ and accept his power. Do not be afraid. Open wide the doors for Christ. No tengan miedo. Abran de par en par las puertas a Cristo. Do not be afraid. These are words for us, my dear brothers and sisters. Words for us in our mission as disciples. God is sending us into this city and this country. And we know that our culture is getting more secularized. We know that there is more hostility towards religious, religious values and the teachings of the church. This is the reality that we live in every day. But we cannot be angry or afraid of those challenges that we face in our society. Our duty, our, our duty is a beautiful duty of love. To show the love of God in everything we do. And God is with us in our mission. Just as he was with our Blessed Mother and Father Serra. God will never leave us. So we do not have to be afraid. Do not be afraid. No tengan miedo. And also we have a beautiful message of love that everybody out there, our neighbors, they want to hear. A message of mercy and forgiveness. A message of the great dignity of the human person. Es un mensaje hermoso el que tenemos y que queremos compartir con los demás para que se alegren con la presencia de Dios en sus vidas. So God is sending us to open the doors of every heart to welcome Jesus Christ, to bring every person to that encounter with Jesus. So today, as we remember the founding of our city, we must ask for the grace to rededicate ourselves to our mission as disciples. We have to ask for the grace to be able to commit ourselves again to keep working so that we can make Los Angeles what this city was meant to be, a city of freedom, a city where the love of God can be felt that every human life is welcome and treasured. 
So we have to keep in our words those beautiful words of the angel. Do not be afraid. And also the beautiful words of Mary, our Blessed Mother, fulfilling the will of God for her. We know that Mary is our king, our queen, and our mother. So let us ask her protection. Let us ask her to watch over, over our families, our loved ones, and our city. Let us ask her to help us as we seek to continue the mission of blessed, soon-to-be Saint Junipero Serra, and of those great missionaries who founded this great city and this country. And let us pray today in a special way, for the visit of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, to our country, to the United States. May this time of conversion and renewal for the, uh, may this time be a time of conversion for our city, our country, and everyone in the United States. Que la Santísima Virgen, Reina de los Ángeles, interceda por cada uno de nosotros por nuestra arquidiócesis, por nuestro país, para que el viaje apostólico del Papa Francisco traiga muchos frutos de santidad entre todos nosotros. So, let us ask the intercession of uh, Blessed Junipero Serra. So, Blessed Junipero Serra, pray for us. Nuestra Señora de los Ángeles, Our Lady Queen of the Angels, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.